everybody, it's Nara Brown with the Nara Brown team at Long Realty. Today I'm standing on the beautiful golf course here in Saddlebrook, Arizona. A question I often get and a concern from many people is, is Arizona going to run out of water? So stay tuned and let's talk about it. I understand people's concerns about water in Arizona, especially if you watch the national news and most of it is about how Arizona is going to run out of water and it's going to be bone dry and the Colorado River is drying up and the lakes are drying up. And so I think for especially for people that are looking to move here are concerned about what's going to happen with water in the future. So I kind of wanted to lay out some facts and specifically what has positioned Tucson to be in a really good place moving forward with water for at least the next 100 years. Tucson's main Main source of water comes from the Colorado River and that's known as cap water or the Central Arizona Project. So the main concern is what happens if that water dries up, especially because right now we're currently using about 80% of our consumption is coming from the Colorado River. The nice thing is, is that Tucson does have alternatives in place so that in the event that we don't get as much water from the Colorado River, we have alternatives moving forward for water in the future. The first thing that Tucson has done is they've actually stored extra cap water over the course of the last several years because we haven't used as much water as we have been allocated through the Central Arizona project. So they've gone ahead and taken that full allocation of water and then whatever has been left over, they've gone ahead and stored so that we can use that in the future when it is drier years and we can't get as much water from the Colorado River. So that's the first thing that they've put in place to protect the future. The second thing that Tucson is doing is they are currently using recycled treated wastewater for any major irrigation when it comes to parks and golf courses. So this is a prime example of them using treated recycled water for this golf course so that they're not putting a strain on the cap water for those types of purposes. The other thing that we use this reclaimed or recycled water for is for construction purposes. So they're required to use that whenever they're doing any kind of construction project. So that once again, does doesn't impact the cap water. The third source of water for Tucson is groundwater. And we actually sit on top of a large aquifer. And many experts say that that aquifer could supply us with many, many years of water. So that's kind of a backup as well, that if we can't use as much cap water in the future, that we will be able to tap into that groundwater, as well as the fact that we have surface water and there's a lot of conservation efforts right now to take that surface water and put it into the aquifer so that we've got that for future use as well. While Tucson does have several sources of water for the future, they also have put in a lot of effort for conservation plans to, for the future as well. Those conservation plans include less consumption, helping people with rainwater harvesting, there's even uh, retention basins and recharge basins. Some of those are man-made, some of those are natural so that we can utilize as much of that surface water and put it back into the aquifer. And then of course, it's a community effort so we have actually seen some of these conservation efforts have actually helped Tucson have less consumption of water over the last several years. So of course that helps us to build up even more reserves and more storage for future and hopefully that cycle just continues as we move forward into future to guarantee that we do have water. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope that this answered some questions that you might have and alleviate any concerns that you might have about the future of water in Arizona. I'm going to post the links and resources below so you can read if you have additional questions. Feel free to reach out to me anytime as well. You can always find me at nara at soldtucson.com or call me at 520-390-6000.